Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Crypto Ginger here. Guys, I wanted to take a quick moment with this video and just point out a couple things right off the bat. I'm using this particular uh, page here from coinmarketcap.com just so you can all see the graph on the right hand side. Uh, really all your top performing cryptocurrencies just short of, for example, Binance or even your stable coins have had some really nice growth. But I wanted to point out that between Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, and even Bitcoin Cash, XRP seems to have the best growth here as far as the chart is concerned. Yes, there has definitely been some volatility and that's actually the case with all those particular top performing cryptocurrencies, but XRP's growth is definitely steadily going up and we're not seeing what looks to be any major spikes and then of course any drops majorly uh, taking place with again that digital asset XRP. What we're seeing is again some steady growth happening here. We're now seeing XRP just over 46 cents and of course this right here is something that I would guess is going to maintain especially with all the news that we're getting on a daily basis here and really when it comes to this kind of growth this is what we really want to see when it comes to uh, very good strength behind a digital asset such as XRP so guys I would be actually on the lookout for a 50 cent XRP coming up very shortly here whether that happens in the next day or so uh, I'm definitely seeing 50 cents taking place in a very very near future once 50 cents hits that's another psychological barrier that's going to be broken and when people see that they're going to want to start putting their money into something that they're seeing going up gradually such as xrp and that means more money coming into that specific digital asset there so again something that's very good when it comes to the growth rate but again we're seeing more people taking the approach and the initiative of looking at these very specific digital assets such as xrp for their investment and of course, with all the news is happening, they're definitely going to want to maintain keeping their investments in a digital asset that's actually performing and has the ability to actually perform for all these companies, these banks, financial institutions that are looking, again, to get themselves into this market. So very good growth here. And again, part of the news that we're seeing here, I would imagine, uh, outside of all the announcements as far as partnerships with Ripple, really a lot of the news that's happening is affecting the entire cryptocurrency ecosystem. And it's just a matter of time before we start seeing a huge flood of money coming into this market here. I wanted to start off with a little bit of the news that we've been seeing that I think is going to have a major importance and factor in the entire cryptocurrency ecosystem, and it has to do with what's happening in China. For example, we have an article here from Forbes.com that's actually talking a little bit more about the China bond sell-off and that this right here could actually send money into currencies such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, and Litecoin, sending them to all new highs. Now, of course, again, this is really relative to what's happening between US and China with the tariffs and has created a trade war between the two. And also, we're seeing China selling off US treasuries. So again, that money can absolutely be flooding into the cryptocurrency market here and with the price primary focus of those top performing coins, Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, and especially XRP. Uh, we're going to most certainly see some new highs with these particular currencies here. Looking a little bit further, we can see that as US-China trade war is shifting from tariffs to technology, Bitcoin is turning into the new gold. This digital currency actually gained 132% year to date. So from the beginning of 2019 until now, or the, when this article is written, it's gone up 132%. And of course, we have seen other cryptocurrencies follow in suit just as well. Here they post a little bit of a chart for a seven day price change for some of the major cryptocurrencies. Bitcoin has had some pretty significant moves, but look at XRP, even Litecoin, major moves when it comes to these two particular currencies. So we're seeing money flooding into this market again, but this US China trade war, tariffs that are actually uh, being um, you know, a major impact on what's happening with this trade war. It's definitely going to have a major impact on finances, and I would guess that with the selling off of the U.S. Treasuries, they're going to want to have some of that money go into safe havens, such as these digital assets, especially XRP. If you actually have any understanding what Ripple, the company, has been trying to do, making a use case out of XRP and trying to onboard as many banks and financial institutions, that right there might be the number one coin in the next couple of years. It's definitely been speculated as such, but you have to keep in mind, again, it is... Ripple is one of the major companies out there trying to do uh, what they have actually said they're going to do. Again, reaching out to as many banks and financial institutions. They have roughly around 200 plus partners right now, and that number is increasing every single week. Watch my last video. You'll see that roughly two to three different types of institutions and 
different types of companies are onboarding themselves every single week. So just something to keep in mind, guys, when it comes to what's happening here. This is definitely an in-depth look when it comes to what's happening with the U.S.-China trade wars and the tariffs. Definitely give this a read. There have been other people in the XRP community that have been outspoken about this. Um, I would definitely suggest getting yourself on Twitter if you're not already and just start searching those people in the XRP community that you would like to actually start seeing more information about because, again, there is a large amount of literature and news and announcements happening almost every single day when it comes to just Ripple the company and what's happening for XRP, let alone all the other digital assets and cryptocurrencies that are out there. So something to keep in mind, guys, when it comes to what's happening in this ecosystem. And there are definitely some major catalysts taking place that are going to push the prices up probably well past their all-time highs. It has definitely been speculated and anticipated that we're going to see this year, 2019, some new major highs with a lot of these currencies. So let me know what you guys think about this right here. And of course, if there's any information that you feel is important that I left out, please leave that in the comment section of the video there. But again, take a quick read about this information and you will firmly understand that major things are taking place on a global scale that are going to impact cryptocurrencies in general. A couple of things I want to go over as well. I just wanted to really quickly point out uh, the technical analysis side of things. I know that there are people out there that like to read charts. I, for one, am still learning how to read charts and how to get a firmer understanding of it, but I do get a lot of information when it comes to these people who are very well experienced in doing chart reading. And of course, uh, as you can see, the people who actually created the charts for this particular article from CCN uh, also posted charts regarding Ethereum and Cardano because they expect those two particular cryptocurrencies to also experience explode in price right alongside of XRP. But interesting enough, this article talks about how we could likely see XRP drop down to roughly around 40 cents before it spikes up to 57 cents. And that has everything to do with uh, the major talk of two golden crosses that will be uh, taking place with XRP. Now, I do believe one golden cross has already happened, and that was because of the 50-day moving average uh, crossing over the 200-day moving average. But now we're having the 100-day moving average crawling over the 200 day moving average as well so there's two different indicators there for xrp giving them again what's called the double golden cross and in most cases when it comes to chart reading seeing something like that is absolutely a significant sign for a bullish run with xrp so really at this point in time it is a focus for those who are again doing technical analysis to take a look at this right here and see whether or not this right here is uh, the best alternative for you I'm someone who takes a lot of this information with a grain of salt, but also as well, I do understand the fundamentals behind being a technical analysis uh, reader when it comes to these charts and understanding how the movement is with the charts. And if you start seeing that, you can actually use, uh, for example, again, the double golden cross as a significant mover. I would suggest looking into this from that angle and understanding, hey, this might be something that is a good indication that we're gonna see some positive action for XRP, the digital asset there. So again, something to consider guys, if you are someone who is part of the technical analysis, but seeing that there are those who are absolutely positive about XRP because of this two golden crosses taking place, uh, I would definitely look into this for sure as a good sign that XRP is gonna be moving in the right direction here. So again, take it for what it's worth guys, uh, take it with a grain of salt, but again, there are people who are chart reading this information and see this way ahead of time so let me know what you guys think about this information just as well uh, one last thing i wanted to quickly go over as well I want to give another shout out to XRP Crypto Wolf. This guy is always on fire when it comes to the news and uh, the information that's actually out there. He really wants to make sure that the XRP community is aware of what's happening there. But he's only one voice at this point in time. And so it's hard for him, I would imagine, to reach out to as many people as possible. So when he alerts people like myself and other people that are content creators, it's really helpful because it then helps spread this information out there to as many people as possible. He posted two things, and I'm going to go over both of them here but the first one he posted uh, that uh, I think is really intriguing is the fact that Coinbase said the firm is thinking of supporting margin trading now really guys if you are not part of the trading aspect when it comes to cryptocurrencies this might not be up your alley but of course if you are someone who is into day trading or swing trading or even margin trading now uh, this right here might be right up your alley and again Coinbase is now getting themselves on board with the idea of support and margin trading and of course if this 
this happens to be something that you can do with XRP, could you imagine how much money you could possibly make knowing and understanding how to do margin trading? So again, take a quick look at this right here. If you are someone who wants to take a look at this a little bit further and more in-depthly, uh, he leaves a link here for Bybit official so you can go in and actually take a look at margin trading again from Coinbase's standpoint. And one last thing that XRP Crypto Wolf sent that I really wanted to uh, have a little bit of focus on was the fact that billionaires are buying up Bitcoin and they're trying to do this in a way that doesn't create slippage in the actual market there, which is usually something done if you buy through exchanges. But we're seeing more billionaires getting themselves immersed into this ecosystem, guys. And he leaves an article here, which I would definitely suggest taking a quick look at, but you have to understand that uh, these billionaires are going to find whatever way they need to to get into the cryptocurrency ecosystem again without having any type of real uh, slippage effect on the price point. They want to make sure they're getting their Bitcoin at the lowest rate they possibly can so that they can then, of course, gain any of those types of gains that might happen as Bitcoin goes up in price. And it's actually done through a company called Dadiana Syndicate. And of course, I hope I'm not butchering that name, Dadiani, but um, Really, the idea here is that we have another company that is going about trying to get people onboarded uh, with large sums of Bitcoin. There's an article here that you can actually take a quick look at. And of course, the article links you directly to Forbes here where we can see a little bit more in-depth talk about how the billionaires are buying up Bitcoin through this Dadianda Syndicate platform, which is allowing those particular investors to maximize their digital holdings. And it's interesting because there's a relationship between the actual owner or creator of the Dadianda Syndicate and of course, uh, a couple other people that are dealing with fine arts and really we see that people are able to sell their different types of artworks or buy artworks using Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies on the Ethereum blockchain. Now we're seeing people wanting to buy into Bitcoin through this particular Dadiana syndicate platform now. And of course, it's almost treated like an OTC or over-the-counter type of movement there where we have, again, people buying into Bitcoin without creating slippage and affecting the price point. That right there will be something that will happen later on as more more investors come in but keep in mind guys over-the-counter buying is absolutely a big thing right now again people don't want to have to buy a lot of Bitcoin with a large sum of money and have it affect the price point that's why you have the over-the-counter different types of platforms out there so that you can actually buy Bitcoin in large bulk amounts and of course again it doesn't create slippage it doesn't increase or decrease the price point of Bitcoin that right there is huge, especially when you're seeing billionaires actually getting themselves into this market. Guys, I'm telling you, when it comes to finding safe havens for their different types of wealth, cryptocurrencies is most certainly going to be this new avenue for them, right alongside of precious metals and getting themselves into other different types of assets. But you have to understand, when we're seeing billionaires moving into this market, that right there is going to be the shift that we need to see in order for cryptocurrencies to start rising in value. And if Bitcoin jumps up in value, you can actually rest assured that all those other performing cryptocurrencies that are right below it are going to be impacted in a very positive way. And that's going to include XRP just as well. So keep that in mind, guys. Billionaires are absolutely buying up Bitcoin right now. And we're going to start seeing a lot more of this, at least in the news, when it comes to the amount of people getting themselves into this ecosystem. So things to take in consideration. Again, thank you, XRP Crypto Wolf, for this information here. And guys, I know that there's a substantial amount of news that's out there right now regarding cryptocurrencies. A lot of things are taking place, so keep all that in mind, guys. I thank you so much for taking the time out to watch these videos and understand that we're going to start seeing some major shifts in the cryptocurrency ecosystem here when it comes to larger amounts of volume of money actually going into your top performing cryptocurrencies, especially XRP. So let me know what you guys think. If you are new to the channel, please hit the like and subscribe button. And of course, uh, definitely get this information spread out there to as many people as we can. The earlier that you are as an adopter, the better off you're going to be when the flood of money does actually hit. Outside of that, guys, thank you for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.